Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and how are you today? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, here's the daily crumb to help you along your way. Morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this is for you. A morning for me. Welcome to the Daily Crumb with me, Wingy Schneebe, Bay, Majanki Kue, your friendly, freaky ass, sweet grass water medicine woman, also Christiana Carr, Christy Carr, superstar. And also, welcome to you, beautiful divine beings, right here, too. Did I say that all? Because I just got caught up and I forgot to welcome you guys. I said it's important to introduce myself yesterday. And I forgot another very important piece to welcome all you beautiful divine beings right here too. How goes it with you? Okay, let's let's dive right in. Feel a little rough this morning. My neighbors had a loss in their family. So I went over... And uh, ended up spending pretty much the whole day there. I had a great time. Well, you know, as great as you can, getting to know the people, hearing the stories and the rich history, because they're from around this area. So hearing that, and her dad, grandpa, was, oh my goodness, like motorcycle, like, like won awards and everything, sports hall of fame and stuff, like cool, like, like play banjo and stuff, like so cool, lived a very full life. Beautiful. It was so beautiful. And listening to her, her, her grandmother. and Oh, yeah, it's just... I love that. I love hearing people's stories. I love stories. Love it. Love history. It's beautiful. Anyway, so... A little rough today, but... I was okay. Get this done, and then I get on the road again. My buddies. I was going to be outside, but it looks like the bunny mummy coming back. So I didn't want to disturb... I thought, oh, she's coming back today already. I don't want to sit out there, and then she won't come back. Okay. As you grow older, you will discover that you have two hands, one for helping yourself, one for helping others. Reflect on some ways you helped others today. How did you feel when you helped them? I think that was a little while ago, but that's okay. Let's see what comes up with that one. That is a 50, a 5, a 0. Right? We have to have that balance. We can't just continually help ourselves, help, 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 help. We're helping others, too. It's symbiotic relationships, right? Working together. That's what I love the most. Interdependent, symbiotic. Interdependent and symbiotic. <laughs> okay. I know it's not working so good today, either. Oh, there we go. That one flew over there. Now one, one path going with that. Gonna have no the totem animal. It's okay, I might get it confused, but spirit always knows. <laughs> Helps me get out of my way. Now we got the coral and the bonnet, the nurturing, nurturing ourselves, right? We can't give from an empty cup we also cannot be filled up if our cup is already full and when is your cup full of right mm, i don't know now have you helped others and when you do are you expecting something back do you do it to get something do you do it to look good i don't know and here we have painted face the self-expression because we're learning who we are getting in touch with our divine our little our little's inside showing that little that that little is safe and protected and can now finally grow up because we're a bunch of adults running around i mean a bunch of kids running around in adult bodies right anyway what's that self-expression that wants to come out be you that's been there right be beyond the illusions you know being yourself and not who society or family or whatever says you are or needs you to be or whatever what is that 
for you. Because as we're being ourselves, we're helping others in that way too. Inspiring them. That's one of the greatest ways of being inspirational. Just being yourself. I tell you from my own experience, and it's not about ego thing, that I'll keep doing this because of the little bits of things that I've heard back that it actually, it actually helps. And that's the whole purpose. It helps me too. But, but to see past the illusion that, oh, I have to be perfect like this. I, got, I should have this on. I should be doing all this and this and this or else I cannot do these. You know what? If I did that, I would never be out here. I've been doing this since 2018 and I'm a, come as you are and take me as I am. And I'm getting in touch with that self-expression, that little, that, that little always wanted to be. What is that? Mm. So how have you helped others to be more themselves? How have you been more yourself? That's how we help others to be more themselves, I think. Oh, no. How does that work for you? What's the illusions that you need to see through? Right? Dragonfly is just amazing. It'll spend like seven years in that nymph body until the perfect time and perfect conditions for it to come out and be the dragonfly. But this is the shortest time of its life. Right? So we spent all this time working at it to become the beautiful dragonfly. Doesn't matter how long it's taken you. It's never. It's never too late. Never too late. All right, beautiful beings. Be yourself. Because we don't want the world miss out on you. Okay? Biggest heart hugs ever. Yes. Thank you for being you. And shining your light through everything you do. Because you know it. Or you just accept it. This world needs you. To be you. Fully, holy, and true. Yeah. Don't let the world miss out on all that's you. You're the best one for the job. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for choosing to stay. Yes. Let's go celebrate another beautiful day because we make it so. All right, beautiful beings. <laughs> Love yous. Mwah.